Water is essential for life. When we look for life on other planets, oftentimes we look for water first. People get most of their water from either surface water or groundwater, which is mostly fed by precipitation. In the southeastern U.S., we normally have abundant rainfall, but severe droughts can lead to water shortages that threaten water supplies for people and habitat for fish, amphibians, and mussels. Agriculture is one of our largest water consumers, but farmers have made huge strides in increasing irrigation efficiency. Now, we're exploring how forest restoration can be used as another tool for conserving water. A second widespread issue in this region is the loss of historic longleaf pine woodlands. We're here on the banks of the Ichaway Nachaway Creek at the Jones Center Ichaway in southwest Georgia. We're surrounded by open longleaf pine forests similar to those that once covered much of the southeastern landscape. This unique ecosystem is incredibly biodiverse and supports many popular game species as well as rare plants and animals. These woodlands once covered much of the southeastern U.S., but because of past harvest or neglect, these woodlands have been reduced to only 5% of their historic range. Restoration of longleaf pine woodlands supports wildlife conservation objectives, and now we believe it can also help relieve water shortages in many watersheds. We are working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture on a project that's funded by the Conservation Effects Assessment Project. SEEP has a goal to measure the environmental effects of voluntary conservation on private forests and grazing lands. SEEP leaders work with researchers like us at the Jones Center to ensure effective placement of conservation practices. So whenever rain falls, some of it stays below ground where it can replenish the groundwater. And then a lot of that water ends up being used by plants to carry nutrients up to the leaves and then back into the atmosphere. What water is not used by plants ends up staying in the soil and eventually runs off where it can reach streams. In a very dense forest like the one behind me, there are many, many leaves on the trees that are pulling water up from the soil and into the atmosphere. And so that leaves far less water in the ground uh, to be able to flow into streams. When longleaf pine woodlands are restored, they have a very open structure and they look much different than an unmanaged forest. They're managed with frequent fire, so they have far fewer trees, they have less leaf area, and then they have an understory of water efficient grasses. The plants in a longleaf pine woodland use less water, so more runoff is left over to replenish streams, wetlands, and aquifers. During droughts, streams can get critically low, and longleaf pine actually uses even less water during droughts, so it provides more water to streams when it's needed most. Not only do longleaf pine woodlands provide habitat for native plant and animal species, but they also deliver more water to streams compared to unmanaged forests. So by restoring longleaf pine woodlands, NRCS is helping to solve two ecological problems at once. We've been working to estimate how longleaf pine restoration can impact water supplies. Hydrologic models allow us to determine how much water we can get from different types of forest management, including longleaf pine restoration. Our estimates show that low density forests result in greater stream flow during droughts when additional water in streams is most critical. We just finished a region-wide analysis that confirmed longleaf pine woodland restoration improves water availability. From this research, we also learned that proper forest management is critical to maintain the forest structure that promotes the reduced water use. Watershed models allow us to quantify these benefits and prioritize areas on the landscape for restoration. Forest management is critical to achieve water savings. The USDA Natural Resources Conservation Service supports longleaf pine restoration and forest management through cost share programs for restoring longleaf pine like tree planting, vegetation management, fire break establishment, and prescribed fire. NRCS staff are dedicated to helping people help the land through management and conservation practices, including those that help support water conservation. Determining priority areas on the landscape is key. The greatest potential for increased water yield is in dense, fast-growing forests, but forests with lower productivity can save water and be more economical to restore. Longleaf pine restoration is not just about the trees. It's about preserving an entire ecosystem and our water resources for future generations. Through sound forest management practices, we can help ensure a sustainable water supply. NRCS is working with researchers to better understand the environmental effects of conservation efforts. 
Work like this can strengthen data-driven management decisions across the nation's private lands. Smart forest management, like having the right forests in the right places, can contribute to water conservation while preserving other values and benefits like timber production and wildlife habitat. To learn about how you can do restoration that benefits wildlife, biodiversity, and water, contact your local NRCS field office.